Jaeger yeah, peeking up the stairs, he's looking for Splus, he's coming around the corner, does it, but does oh. just about get him down before King George will trade kicks out. C4 comes in there for a double kill on, for Canadian, nice. and now Minute's the last man standing upstairs with four seconds on the clock, he gets one, he's got to find two more, he's going to see one and get him, wow. can he get Canadian in time? No chance, he was miles away. Let's see really it. An attempted clutch here. Hopefully Comes around the corner. No, yep. Canadian picks it up. Yep. Nice. Oh, and two. Young and Canadian grab one each there, and now it's all onto Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy, who were in any really low health. Young is looking to come inside the B window. Canadian is coming to join him. No GG, boys. Snake is going to feel a bit out of place now as he left his team in a 4v5, and they've got another round to play if Easy Peasy can do this. Oh. 20 seconds on the clock, though. Man. He takes another couple of tags. Young is now inside the B site. 15 seconds to go. It's gonna beat him Does out at least. He hear the plant. He didn't hear the plant. Or he has. He's had to move now because of it. Edges yeah. forward. Looking oh, through this hole, he'll see Young. Does stop the plant. Can he stop Canadian? Peeks out and he doesn't oh. need to. And it gives Canadian the kill. Orbit are staying alive for one more round. It is four rounds to three. Now Vapo is the only man behind. It's gonna come in. They're inside the kitchen with the plant. Nice. Takes down Snake. Nice. The plant's on the left hand side. He finds Young. Gets him as well. Two. That's the diffuser down. Two members now left for Young. Seconds remaining. For Orbit, rather. They haven't got the diffuser. One's going to come in from dining room. One's coming in the main lobby. He's got the dining room. What? He comes away at the last second, but he still gets the kill. Looking up for the next man. He's got to stay down. Six seconds on the clock. Canadian has time. Sprinting into the room. Vapo can't do it. Straight in the face. Canadian shuts down the 4K, locks him with just three, and gives the round over to Orbit. Canadian's not the one who generally has a reputation for the best aim, but you know what? In a clutch situation like that, as long as he can hit the face, that's what matters. And they are definitely thrilled down there. About two rounds in a row, starting off strong. Away from the second goes now with the shotgun in hand comes around. Snake will be down, but he'll be down by six quarter in the backside. And he takes Falco out as well. The shotguns are starting to come into play as Canadian picks up three. Young's picked up one, and Sunny Renshira is the only man standing. He's pushing in towards the church room, but he's coming from the main corridor, standing right on top of a downed Young. Canadian versus Renshira in a 1v1. Kills off the player, so the information feed will stop. Now he's looking for the diffusers. Ten seconds on the clock. Canadian is in the main corridor. Here's him in the barbed wire. Switches to his Desert Eagle. Here's him in the next bit barbed wire. Canadian comes around for the 4K and orbit. Take round number one. Barbed wire. K is looking in through this angle to toilet. Sky's hit himself from it, but the C4 from below has taken Laxing down. It wasn't the planter though, so the diffuser goes on through. Canadian heading up top now. Geo does turn around at the right moment. Can he see MVK? He sees him, but doesn't shoot him. And Geo will fall, leaving Skies in a 1v2. Does get a good kill onto MVK in a 1v1 now. Here's Canadian drop. Didn't hear him drop, and walks straight into him for the final kill of the round. And a 4v2, 30 seconds, round number four. But you've still got Young and Canadian up, so you still have that potential to steal a kill or two away. Young tries to make that happen, and wow, he sees Chala drop, and good control from Young as he manages to lose half of his life, but still wins the fight, and he sees another. But he's taking fire from Thinking Nade, and the SAS operator of Most Wanted is able to secure that kill and leave it just to Canadian now, who might actually be able to get this. He jumps in, stops Diffuser, only four seconds left. Nobody's in position to get that oh, Diffuser no. up. Thinking Nate's gonna run out of time. Oh, and Canadian! No. Oh my goodness, wins round number four. Most Wanted nowhere close enough. More ready than he is. Runs all the way through the white stairs. Gets the kill, Para has to rotate all the way from below. Hungry on his own, gets the shot at range. Nicely done with the SMG-11. 1v1 here is Para with the overpowering rate of fire. Will be able to clean things up. Switches back to his SMG as Hungry gets one more for the show and leaves Canadian all on his own. On the Zofia, still outside. He definitely has full control here, but where will they run out towards him? He doesn't have any shots left on his grenade launcher. Oh, oh no, unfortunately for Para, Canadian is ready for him on the opposing angle. As Canadian takes a bit more damage himself with a shotgun, and Canadian finishes him off. What is going on here? EG take the round. C4 goes off. Canadian right now holding the round together for his team. That's the leadership they need. Now Shate comes in. Pengu takes out BC. That crowd goes quiet. It's still 2v2. You can hear the metal detectors beeping in the background. It's NVK and the Valkyrie of Canadian versus the Hibana and the Ash. Attack They'll have to outduel two of the best operators on attack. You can hear Canadian working away at the wall. NVK takes one down. That's all up to Pengu who takes out NVK. It's 1v1. Canadian has four kills. Diffuser going off. Canadian will need an ace in order to stick this through. Off of the plan he goes. He'll just waste time. And evil genius has had the lead. It's now four versus three as Bidet is in the back. He is on the Echo Drone. 
will try to rotate back. Vitality pretty much blindsided by how speedy this entire push has been. Necrox will get one kill. In open, Zephyr <laughs> will get the kill on Necrox. This young jumps on in, trying to save the day. But you see the long angles being held. The Supernova will come in. They'll get one kill, but they still have a second on Canadian. They'll jump out. Zephyr will clutch it. He'll go down. His young is already on the floor. Does he have enough time now? There's just a few seconds left under the fuser as Zephyr taps and taps away on it, trying to take it out. And no, the what? attackers will take the first round. EG with the blitz. At least EG have control of the bathroom and the main bedroom here, and they'll be able to pick up the diffuser very easy. There we go. No. <laughs> Whoop, not that easy. From the dead, but Canadian will still get the kill on Zephyr. Pretty last man alive with the three canisters in hand. He's playing very, very close here. Unreinforced wall. Canadian moving in with the PMM. He won't spot. Brede will get two kills. Does he know where Canadian's coming from? Canadian clutches it with the pistol and he'll win it out. Brede easily dispatched by Doc as he peeks around the corner. He's going to look for some more kills. Gets a second one onto BC, but shut down. It's just Ghost in a one versus one as he gets young. There's still enough time, but he's going to have to get this kill in the next couple seconds or he will run out. And he's peeking the wrong angles. Oh no, Canadian's going to run down the clock and will win the round. A nice try by Ghost, but it just was not enough. He will not have time. Wisely reads that and gets out as quickly as he can. Ooh. Gurmy, who is all off on his own, will get taken out by Canadian. My man holds the diffuser, so you don't have to worry about possibly retrieving it from miles away, but it has also allowed the pulse to get back towards the attic and can possibly destroy that wall with the C4 for the full retake. And that's exactly what it sounds like he'll do. So he can get himself back up, currently situated in generator as an EE1D will freeze Evil Geniuses in place. Lighting up inside, Necrox and Canadian get two, but Bosco shreds Necrox, Skies finds NVK, Canadian is last alive, he's sitting on the diffuser, he knows there'll need to be a push, he sees one, the Blackbeard will falter, goes for the second, what a clutch from Canadian! Oh my, and he steals the round for his team! The Pulse, left alone on top of the diffuser, reads him like a book, and EG will move to match point. His way onto the cool vibe stairs, will miss most of his shots, and here come Mouse. They'll circle in and look towards their push, but they still got a lot of ground to make up. One frag grenade will get Prime from Vertical. NBK comes back into the fray, but it's a trade-off as Vandal eliminates Necrox, and Canadian jumps in to take out Hyper. The time right now favors the defenders. Canadian will be holding it off. Young jumps in. Canadian with another. What a big round, but Vertical in a 1v1 will just simply lose out on time of the site at the moment. As we rode along with BC there, he's got the all down, and this is gonna be very similar to what we saw last time around. Easily will grow that lead for Rogue, and Shuttle will jump in, but BC will get easily, and he's in a powerful position. He'll get another, Shuttle's down, but won't see Slash as he pushes in the Yokai. will need to stop the plant in its tracks, and there you have it, Evil Genius is stopping it with the Yokai, that mechanical menace, able to knock Rogue out of the plant, and man, is just on the floor in the balcony and waiting around, but the information is going to get relayed in from the Pulse Canadian, who so far is uncontested. Of course, the bandit's already been spotted, so I wonder when that will, if even, it will prompt a reaction from Fnatic to come in uh, from the bottom floor because they don't have any grenades. Wow! Oh, they're going to go for the rush. Neo will get one, but the C4 team kill Canadian will land two as he two takes out Geo. Geo, totally worth the sacrifice. Dizzle's on the floor, and Rizraz is all on his own. It's all down to Rizraz now as he gets one, but not the second. Canadian will wipe out Fnatic, and there you go. It's Mr. Ric Flair himself. Woo! He's ready for it. The, the face on Geo as well just left. I'm assuming he hit that shot onto Young through the wall by accident, but he'll take that. Eddie unable to hit the shot onto the ADS, and now the storming of the gates coming out from Orlis now. A little bit quicker than they have been in the past, but slower than the last successful round they had. Smoking out is the attempted plant coming out, and Brian's going to be fine. Acid will fall, Yeti will trade out Necrox for the plant, still being completed. A 1v2 for Canadian to work his way out of now as he sends up the steps, aiming in towards Master as he finds the diffuser located now. He'll have to weave his way around the bomb site that was set up by his teammates to hold from anyone entering. On the opposite side of the wall is Yeti right around the corner. Oh, it takes his one shot and he'll land it, but a, a 100 HP Brian of the, on the opposite side of the wall covering the diffuser. Has a mirror window to use, pre-frying back and forth, while running low on time. Canadian tries to get the plant. Oh my god! Brian, how do you lose that Canadian? Puts EG back up to one on Villa. Four. 
It's now just Hotten in a one versus three, and Young is going for the plant. Very easy here as Houghton just needs to walk on in. He'll catch one as Zen Poppy Geo tries to move out of the way, but the diffuser goes down and Young will be in a very good position, hugging the corner. Oh, but Hot and Cold will persevere. Canadian is from above. He's going to try to blow open a hole in the floor. Sledging away. There he goes. Exposed. He sees it. Canadian, get your kill. There you go. A 4K from the captain of the team. Time is becoming a major problem here now for the stream. Only two players left. Both of them 50 HP or less. Aces picks up one of them, though. Evens it out into a 2v2. And the two remaining players in AG are not very much better off. Canadian and Uno will trade blows. Uno taking the hit from Canadian. Nearly final last kill. Have to reposition. That is bangable right now, so we will have to be careful. Runs it to the timer, however, and wins it on that. As EG pick up yet another round. One more away now from the 2-0 victory. Those drones, he'll fire in, that's, that's the Thermite taken away. Shuttle with a refrag, but Necrox is ready for a potential dive from the outside. Vertical and Shuttle will find a kill each, but they're so low on HP, and Necrox, oh, he gets taken away. Is there any time to plant? No! You forgot your most important job! We got Canadian now inside a trick. Bosco sitting over at the gun rack. A huge pick to come through for Bosco wants a shuttle. That'll be the butt taken down to Canadian with another. And there goes easily taking another one down. That's Bosco biting the dust. A one versus two between Canadian and easily. Very low speed for the thermite, but the time's gonna run out of time here. Space Station getting one of their first defense of the round. Right now, Bosco gets a bit of information but can't capitalize as Doodle swings on, gets one, faults with the trade, and Slash with one of his own. The two remaining bodies swing into the point, but there is Canadian! There is the man that we wanted to show up, and there he is coming in with an end of round double. Stick this plant, they have no other option. There's the late rotation from Canadian. There's a knife from Sexy Cake! Canadian misses his shots, no health! There it is! Canadian almost lost it, but in the dying throes. Will not connect, traded out, Slevin with two big kills on his own. And right in the middle of the smoke, it's Bosco going for the plant. Goddess and Slevin are completely blind. You're going to rely on Canadian to be the one to cover. Bosco gets off the diffuser, pulls out the C75, and runs out, but he'll get downed. So it's all on the shoulders of the Canadian himself. He'll rotate on back over to Aqua. Waiting to see one head, cannot land the shots. Diffuser being worked out. He punishes Slevin. He'll move on over. A double kill for him. Goddess versus Canadian, both on a tiny bit of HP. A huge clutch opportunity. He's just out of reach of Goddess. The timer is getting perilously low. Defender she has no idea where down. he is. She'll make a ton of noise. Head back to disable the Diffuser. She still has time. Canadian needs to get there, and here he goes. Vaulting on in. Close. Close. You got to hurry, and there you go. He'll get it. On a utility, has to worry about one. Fox with a first kill for reciprocity in offense. Takes down Fultz, it's a big kill. We've seen him performing quite well throughout. Bird starting to warm things up. Lax finds one as well on the other end of the map. Retro now putting the plant down, but he finally gets thwarted in Canadian. Oh no, is the big bad Canadian back, folks? We'll have to find out. It's a pre-fire and Canadian wins it out. Let them know, my man. And thinking is gonna try to make his way down the staircase, but he will actually get the kill on the Blarn there and immediately get refragged though by Meansam, a Canadian got Cry Magic and SSG wins. Canadian will find the final kill on Meansama, and that is round seven in a nail biter. Canadian absolutely going off here, clutching in the round for his team. Canadian thinking nade last two. Well Luminosity clearly more proficient on this map than their record would suggest as they are going to get nearly a flawless round. They might still lose somebody, but Canadian's gonna have to be the one to change this uh, situation. Pushes into bathroom, gets one, and a second. Diffuser down. Canadian could win this round if he gets the third, and he does. A beautiful three-piece for Canadian. Doodle and Slash, the last one's alive. Canadian lit up by Doodle in the sight. Position known, and it's gonna be hard for him to win this. Nice shot there, but it's a pixel peak, and he cannot land the final kill. Slash heard above. He repositions, and oh! Doodle goes down! It's the quad from Canadian! Only one more for Canadian to win this out, and, and he gets the diffuser. Slash hug in the sight now. He will be able to plant, but this has been called out. Canadian is well aware of this situation. Slash fakes the plant, and the repositions to the hallway. To expecting Canadian to rotate. Thanks to the drone, he knows that that's not the case anymore. Canadian repositioning into workshop. There's only eight seconds left. Slash has to go for the kill now! Canadian's gonna be able to win this if he just plays it on time! And he's gonna do exactly that! That Canadian, an absolutely rock-solid, insane clutch based on time and positioning, 
and he will put his team back in this map. <laughs> oh my god! If SSG takes this, then that's a really solid lead coming out of the first half, but TSM could easily turn this into a 3-3. You see Thingy Nate creeping on up to Bolo, so now TSM will trail in terms of man count. Pojo Man emerging through his own smoke. The mirror experiment failed on the last round. Pojo gets absolutely beheaded by Thinking Nade. And a slow peak. I don't know what they were thinking. Well, in this case, Thinking Nade obviously not living up to his namesake. Achieved oh, significant damage. Very winnable. Will he get the clutch? No! So close. So, so close. But just as Canadian comes off of that defuse, He'll keep it in check for his team. Big is up. Two kills for TSM as they burst into the site. Bosco flushed out. Rampy to Bolo with three kills. Oh my word. And it's Canadian down below, isolated. He'll walk oh. right into Geo and he wins the fight, but he will have to find the diffuser. He doesn't have the nitro cell available. He will miss time it. They'll be able to get out of there very effectively. Bad timing for Canadian. He sees one on drone, softens up the floor, but this is an almost unwinnable task for him. I can't believe how TSM was just able to bulldoze their way into the site. This retake from Canadian will be tough. Bolo's on only a tiny bit of HP. Down goes Merc. Bolo's one shot away. Will Canadian oh clutch? Oh my god! No way he pulls that off and the diffuser is his! He knows he has plenty of time. And I'd imagine you gotta be pumped with that one. He'll start to defuse and SSG manages to save the round. Almost unwinnable, I say. Well. He proves me wrong. Second round goes to SSG. Poge working inside of Archives. Achieved front office. Remember, Merc is upstairs, so they're going to have to be worried about that if they have any info, but Thinking Nade's already made his entry. He's inside of Archives, but who has the diffuser? That's the main thing here. They need to get this diffuser down. Time's running low. Achieved needs to make an impact frag right now. Otherwise, this can be very dangerous. We're going to have a drop from Merc. Achieved gets one, but it's not the man putting the diffuser down. Gets another. Knocks it down into the one versus one. But the Canadian on Canadian soil. TSM will not be left with much of a choice. They'll have to swing and they'll have to do it with only their drone intel and what little utility they have left this late into the round. Bosco is also looking to try and stop this, but his bullets give out a position. Frag grenades are still there for the attackers. That'll go in, try to do some decent damage over to the defender, but it won't really strike too much on Bosco. He'll make the swing from the inside. Achieve spamming in to hold the position. The plant is stopped in the meanwhile, but oh no, Merc with a third. Takes out Fultz, yes, but Bosco still kills the planter from above, leaving only two up now for TSM. Merc being one of those though. Bosco up to a quad, but so is Merc, and he's gonna go for the ace, but no, it's denied by Canadian. Strike. Canadian, speaking of, is slowly creeping up. There are the marks. He'll hasten his advance. Diffuser going down, but great coverage. There's Canadian from above. He stops one. Thinking they the other. Is there enough time for Julio? It's a 1v1. No, there isn't. Space Station, another round on bank. Full blind Grixer, stunned call out as well from the lifeline. Gas cancer number two goes off, but there goes call out as they rush through the gas. Grixer holds his flank. But he needs to stop the diffuser now. It's being covered well by Bosco and planted by Canadian. Bosco going into the hallway. Rickster cannot stop it. Now he'll have to take the post plant. Free fire through the wall. Canadian's on the other side of that wall, so he will not be exposed to that angle. Peek into the hallway, does not catch the, the enemy. Bosco playing on the other side of the door. Barrel spotted, free fire's easy there for the Jaeger, but he doesn't land the follow-up. Canadian with good reactions and SSG will take the round. One of them, but he doesn't pull the trigger and he gets two gig big kills as a result. He'll be taken down by Mint and thinking it was actually the one to get the second kill, but that's beside the point. As Canadian adds to the tally, it's all on Eclipse. The last member alive on attack. He'll have to pick up Diffuser and get three kills. He'll get one, but that costs him all of his HP. Good gunplay there from Eclipse, and he's picking up big for his team, but 17 seconds, thinking Nate and Canadian on full HP, it's just not gonna happen. He's being called out by the Valkyrie Cam and the Evil Eye. Goes for the peak. Just a little bit of patience here from the defense. They know there's no reason to take a risk here. And while Eclipse will get a second and will start sticking the plant, Canadian should be able to deny from below, and he'll do just that. Pulse doesn't know either. He'll get one onto Laxing, but Foxy with the refrag by the window. The plank going down, but it's not on default, so the angle doesn't work. Canadian might actually be able to get this. The cover's in. Thinking Nade is successful. Canadian as well. 
They both make it out. That shot missed there from Vertical is huge. Foxy in the floor, which means the Yokai's are standing still. Now it's only Vertical as Canadian picks up two big kills. Vertical dropped downstairs. He has almost no chance here, but he will at least get the buck, bringing this into a one-on-one. -on -one. Canadian actually is low HP. A single bullet from Vertical is all it will take, but he has to be assertive on the play. He doesn't know where the last attacker is. He has to just peek things. Seven seconds is how long it takes to disable this diffuser. Repel, it's heard. Vertical knows. But oh no, it's actually below. He looks through the hole. He can't get it now. He's out of time. Vertical, no chance. And Canadian will win it on time. What a try, though. Oh, for the plant. And then this time, he's going to take an engagement and lose it entirely. Rampy goes down to Grixer, but both teams find themselves without one. Yet he punishes Fultz. He's on yellow stairs, or Kansan's rather on yellow stairs, yet he is still above. So SSG deep within the back of the bomb site. One of them will have to contend with the member of a United who goes to grab that diffuser. This is a very strong position on yellow stairs by Kansan with 30 seconds left, just under 30 seconds for a United to push us to overtime. One toxic canister, another one from Bosco. There's still one remaining. Ooh. Great shot from Kansan onto Bosco. He has proven his worth right now on this team. Lots of damage being done from Thinking Nade. Drops Rex and that's Diffuser down. 10 seconds remaining, but not enough from Thinking Nade. Canadian will have to use a Yokai drone if it's still available. Two seconds left. Yeti planting. And there it is! <laughs> With the Yokai drone in play. Space Station in the final second. They use their gadgets well. 30 seconds remaining and Slash will retrieve the Diffuser. They'll need to pull it off. With a Clash in play and two C4s, this could be a particular challenge. Mira is also up, so you're going to rely on Bosco and Rampy, who are riding the bench to give you pings and calls. Who's going to be able to come to the rescue? Well, Thinking Aid gets one, and then Fultz jumps into the fun. He takes out Fox A and Slash gone as well. A vertical one of his own, and OXG finds themselves in a 2v2, but they have the objective to play off of, and that is going to be particularly daunting. They grab the diffuser. Vertical snatches Fultz. Canadian from below will need to stop this plant in its tracks. He's going to look for a read here. There it goes, and it should be good. It is. SSG take round number two in explosive fashion. Silent removed from play as Flynn smokes Rampy. Canadian in that default plant spot. Diffuser has been downed as Flynn has dropped two. Bosco on the hunt. He's going to look to secure Quartz from above. Quartz has been picked back up. SMG in hand. Bosco hits his mark. Quartz down. 2v3. SSG will trail. And it's Canadian in a 1v3. The first round for Mirage. Could it happen? Canadian, and he will need to stop loading, getting this diffuser down. He does some damage to Zilchi. Next one up. There's two lined up. Canadian knows it! He gets them all! Diffuser's down, and he has plenty of time. Look at the excitement on his face. Bosco in a rat angle, playing by that deployable shield. He finds a target of his own onto Reed, and J90 will now jiggle peek in. He's in the back of the bomb site. He doesn't have the diffuser. Reed does. 15 seconds, and he'll shrug off a little bit of damage. Missed some shots onto the head of the Womai. Does more damage to Bosco. He's unable to find the target that he wants. That leaves Retro in a winning position. As long as he can get that diffuser down. It's a 1v2. Very minimal HP. He'll go hunting. Get it. He'll need to pivot, but he's completely out of time. Firing away into the void, but nobody is there. Server, and it's going to be successful. It looks like good coverage from SSG. Now in a post plant, three versus three. TSM need to force the issue, and they'll do just that. Chala gets the first frag in that 3v3. Thinking Nade and Canadian just trying to stay alive. Ten bullets here, and it's enough for the kill. Pistol out, and the second kill for Thinking Nade. He is hunting heads and looking for glory. Bolo pushing into cash. He needs to find two big ones. With only 25 seconds, it doesn't seem very likely. He'll vault into server. Good positioning, and he will win the first fight. That's huge, but look at that. His last opponent's on the roof, and he's got full information on the diffuser. It's just not gonna happen. He needs seven seconds. He'll have to stick this. No option for Bolo. Canadian can take his time. And here it is. Wait, the time is close, but Canadian gets it. There was about a half a second left, but Bolo just doesn't get on soon enough. They know the position of thinking they, they flush him out masterfully, and Geo is the one to collect that. Canadian's first kill comes in, and it's SSG's only one, but Bosco will soon join him. Canadian and Bosco now against Achieve Chala and Geo. 2v3, 10 seconds left. This could be a huge round for Space Station. And they're going to need to make something happen. As Geo will need to get this plan down with five seconds left. The Malusi gunned down. Canadian in a 1v3. He's got the Nitro Cell and that should be it. He seals the deal. And the Diffuser is not able to be picked back up. Space Station win the round. He's in a 1v3. A similar situation to the previous round. And this should be easy for SSG to hold out. Pistol in hand. Hyper. A clean shot on the Rampy. Diffuser down will make this a lot more difficult than it needs to be for Dark Zero. I don't know how he's going to fight his way out of it, but... 
The one thing that both of these teams are excellent at is just simply patience. And it's going to be shown right now from SSG. They're not engaging in any fights. They can just hold and wait as they reposition to watch the hatches. Hyper now losing even greater HP. He manages to take down one of Fultz. He's got 13 seconds left. Canadian's going to have to get down to get to him in time. Off falls Hyper. And while it's about to be seven seconds, it's past the point of no return. The round will go in favor of SSG. Canadian doesn't even need the kill. But I mean, if you've seen the scoreboard today, Canadian absolutely needs the kill and he'll get it. SSG, but that now changes Jordan. First on the board here again for the Giants as they drop one, but oh. uh, not even sure how that happened. But Lunar Metal's gonna end up going down there. I think he was dropped by an opponent and the nade was in hand, so that's not entirely his fault. Hysterics now fragging out in the mid round, trying to mop up the rest of SSG as they are continuing to falter to this Giants attack. Still holding on, if only slightly. Canadian now bringing this to a 1v2. Trying to deny case control, but it is going down on the inside of the site. Canadian leveraging his way out. Has intel on the player by blue. There we go. There's the pickup. Won't get the opportunity to immediately deny the planter, but he has oh! even got it. Canadian's back on the field and he's immediately making the difference for SSG as he gets the 1vx clutch. It's remain as the Giants will get two big frags as they force their way in. Lunar Metal now with strong positioning and Rampy with a refrag. Lunar on another one on the inside of this round right here. The entry power is unmatched and he still has an opportunity to pick up more for that forward position in the site. He's the closest ping to Canadian right now. Canadian, speaking of which, trying to play behind the mattress. Oh no! A team oh! at the same time. Canadian going to be able to chuck in the Nitro Cell. I Laid out speakeasy and bring this down to a 1v1. Oh There's only my five God. seconds to end it, but Canadian goes for the long range M590 shot. That Claymore was stopping him from pushing up. Alamount dies, oh. thinking Nate's got two. The combination of thinking Nate and Canadian coming up big here on this kid's dorm site. KDS, the last one standing. Thinking Nate does not have much health though. KDS will be able to win this. It won't take much. You could almost knife him here. And he does end up getting the kill. One versus one. Canadian has to stop this plant from going down. He's got time. He's got a nitrocell. If he so pleases, he throws it out. He wins. He did it. Raid. Being tossed out by Canadian. They hope to attack this site soon, but they don't really have the control. That's a miss. Droughton up there. We have it. At least a pink comes through in the end. And that's the wall bang as well. Surely he will see. Hyper gets one as well. And Dark Zero, they turn of the round. Very quick double kill, but look at the timer. And it's a two versus one versus three. The C4 long arm over the top connects with nobody, but they're going to try and stick it on the far side under the cover of the screaming lion. It is their lockdown for the plant here. A three versus one, but they've crept to a slightly new location. There's the first. Bibu gives the game away to his position, and the pings are making sure that they know where each other is. A slight oh, separation, and the second is his for his triple. One more, no! And Canadian is able to lock it down. Thing done, and JR pitching these smoke grenades as quickly as possible over towards the bottom of White Stairs. Brede seemingly the knowing find. where he is because of that, and yes, the find indeed. Low HP BDS members, but they're still alive. Bios will get taken down from the player inside of Shrain, or rather Mine as Canadian will take out one. Brede looking for the overextension, but it's up to Hyper here as he's getting chased down. He'll find him, and with minimal time remaining, can he find the last oh, remaining member? So oh my god! Brede literally exchanges onto another member of Dark Zero here, keeping the numbers even. They still need to work their way past it. There's that Gashmot they didn't watch out for, but it's not even gonna matter. Rare has no trouble harassing in to take out NJR with highs, also taking down Pan, but Hyper trying to loop back in for the trade, but it's not enough. Canadian is left with a disadvantage, 1v2 here. Case is down on the ground, but it's absolutely workable with the range between themselves and Canadian at this point. As they move over now, should be picking it up at any second. A nade going in. Thankfully, Canadian's got the deployable tables to block that one back off. And in just a second, we should see the first plant attempt from Furia. Here it comes. They'll put it down onto the ground, but Canadian lurking his way. Do they expect him to get aggressively? No. He picks up the kill. He jumps off. Highs looks for the clutch, but he's already at low HP. 18 seconds left to find out Canadian. He turns the wrong way. Sees him once again behind the chat. It's ring around the Rosie and it's Canadian clutching it out instead in the 1v2 to send DZ into overtime. Navi are on the south side here as well. The rush comes through. They try and spray through the smoke and they do find the man, but the fuser has been completed. Saves Doki in a post plant here against Canadian and NJR. NJR's on a tear. He's at eight and two, making eight and three. as a 1v1. It's Canadian coming up against Saves. Saves does have one more smoke canister. He's going to drop it out, but Canadian, he hasn't got to do much. He can just step inside and go for a spray. Can't quite find the man as he can't see him. Saves going to try once again. 
I was going to say the Vitera might not be the play here, unfortunately. Comes off again. They're just baiting it back and forth here, Tim. And now that smoke has expired, he can try and stick. Saves. Playing it quite smart and not getting himself killed, but Canadian has just got too big an advantage here. I don't see a world in which he wins. Finds the shutdown and DZ finds another round. It comes out. Pulse also has a Nitro Cell. Can be a little bit greedy. Benefit off his own kills. Looking for whatever he can get. 20 seconds. This round has flown by. A lot of patience from Dark Zero, but the problem with patience is that you might just be walking to your undoing. A Nitro Cell goes off. Team One just absolutely racking up the kills. Now you need Canadian to sit over top with the Diffuser being planted by Eclipse. Dot's caught out. He might be old, but he can still frag. Down goes Raz as well. And now on Red Stairs to try and retake. Team One are in trouble from above. Dash is up there. Canadian will need to clutch this out for his team. Diffuser down 15 seconds. The IQ will reposition. Crowd finally feeling it. Nice shot from Canadian. Four kills will need to be his. Pulse is his signature operator. A bit of humor injected. And irony as now things get tense. Halfway there, the pulse is off. Canadian will need to test his reflexes. And he does a fine job. Four kills for the captain of Dark Zero. There's still six drones that are on the, fo on the field for Dark Zero. Not a lot available for them to use. Here comes the killing for them. Dash down, Pampas who traded out. Eclipse from the back, and he's got an opening as well, but Maya will have to go through their own laser game. Oh. Can't do it! Eclipse stabs him in the back. Lagonis in a clutch 1v2. Things not working out in their favor. Diffuser going down, Canadian for oversight. Lagonis knows where the bomb is, knows where the diffuser is, can't get to it in time. Eclipse pulls it off, 45 seconds. Team one, looking for their first round. Still unachievable. This bomb site, a deliberate attempt. Lagonis has a lot of work to be done. Edging ever closer to the diffuser, but not closer to either of the players who have now scrambled away from the diffuser. Peeking towards blue, they know he's there. Oh. A nice shot onto Eclipse, good lord, Lagonis. And right onto the diffuser, daring a 1v1 against Canadian, daring a 1v1 Post against Canadian, and he gets it in the last second. Still don't have Pamba shut down Eclipse. He manages to find Ash. Pamba goes in for the challenge. He's unable to find the kill. He comes back for more, but Recess is able to shut him down 4v2 now. Eclipse back on site again. He's able to play at least this time inside the site with those smokes. Canadian bring him one back. They find a second. No way they pull back this four versus two. Have they learned from past mistakes? Tim resets. He's on about five HP. He steps in for the quad. He's going for it all himself as well. The ace potentially on. It's Canadian versus resets for the round win, for the map win. Drops in. Canadian's present. He's got 